What is going on everyone? Before we begin, I'd like to give a big thank you for all the views and comments and overall amazing support the channel has received over the past months. I really appreciate it and even if I didn't reply to each and every comment personally, I do read them all. Yes, even the one you're typing right now. I would have made this video much earlier if it wasn't for those translation videos which kept me busy once I started. But they seem to be appreciated and I enjoyed making them, so thanks again for all the positive reception, hi to all the new subscribers and welcome to our very 12th unboxing. And for our 12th unboxing we're gonna take a look at, you might have already guessed it from the background, the long awaited sequel and latest installment in the long running urban reconstruction simulator series, Chikyu Boegon Shikusu or Earth Defense Force 6 in English. With that out of the way, let's have a look. What we got here is the Japanese physical PlayStation 5 release. It's not out yet in the West and judging from past releases that might still take a little while. The cover artwork is rather simplistic as it has become the norm since Earth Defense Force 4. It shows three versions of what I guess is supposed to be the Earth and maybe the Moon. Oh and it comes with free DLC content, some decoys for the Ranger class based on various VTubers. Shidakami Fubuki, Nakidi Ayame and Okami Mio. I have to admit I really don't have any clue about that part of the internet, but hey, maybe you do. The back has some screenshots and some text, nothing out of the ordinary. Alright then, let's get to work. The cover is kinda similar to that of EDF5. Maybe not that surprising since it's a direct sequel with the story continuing a few years after the last one's ending. Time to open up. On the inside we find the disc and some paperwork. One of the leaflets is a download code for the DLC content. With nothing on the back. The other one is some warnings and infos, also with nothing on the back. Be gone. Let's take a closer look at the disc. It shows a similar illustration like the front cover, although with just one earth and one moon this time around. And the shiny backside. Oh and the cover is reversible again, so let's check it out. It seems to be the same artwork that was on the cover of Famitsu magazine from around the game's release date. Made by Dan Yoshi who did several illustrations for the series over the years. Nice. Let's put it back. And that's pretty much it. Not much in terms of physical content, but I didn't expect anything either. I'm a big fan of the series and I'm glad they made a physical release at all. Let's hope they do the same for the West End in under 3 years unlike last time. I suppose most of you already spotted them, but in case you're new to the channel and want to check out some gameplay with English translations, take a look at the playlist I link either here or at the end of the video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. If you did so, feel free to hit that like button. If you didn't, don't hesitate to drop a dislike. And as always, thanks for watching, enjoy gaming and Oh, by the way, before you start pointing it out in the comments, yes, yes, I forgot to put Insect Armageddon in the background with the other games. So here it is, on its own, one of the best entries in the series. And that's what we in the industry call a fact. Bye! Subscribe to this channel!